Hero Dean Phillips, I urge you to stay in the race, sir. Please stay in the presidential race after South Carolina. Um, you may recall my name is Jackson Rip Holmes. I was uh, enrolling myself and becoming active in your Florida campaign <clears throat> and even spoke with a couple of your staffers. But we had a disagreement about um, the Israel's war in Gaza. Um, but I think that uh, I, I really think it would be it will be important to the United States that you stay in the race. Now, of course, you have your own decisions to make, but um, let me explain why I say that it's important to the safety of the world that you stay in the race. Um, you, you will disagree with what I'm about to say. It, it's a criticism of uh, what Israel and President Biden are doing in Gaza, but I think it implicates nuclear annihilation. And I'm sure that that subject uh, trumps any other concerns about our disagreements over what's right and what's wrong in Gaza. Because nobody wants nuclear annihilation for whatever reason. And I do believe that tr Donald, that uh, <laughs> um, Joe Biden is uh, maybe even has, has the objective of uh, causing nuclear annihilation. Now, again, um, what I'm trying to do is articulate to you, Dean Phillips, a reason to stay in the race, to save the entire world from nuclear, uh, nuclear annihilation by showing that there <coughs> is opposition to Joe Biden, which then could create the possibility um, of other people you know, it could induce him to resign, which I see as a possibility, actually, of Biden pulling out of the race. So that would be a good incentive for you, uh, and so on. Now, what is the danger of nuclear annihilation? I, and you're going to possibly find this very offensive. On the other hand, you're very smart. So even if you may disagree with something, you, you're able to follow the logic. Um, it's clear that uh, Netanyahu Biden have murdered over 10,000 innocent children in Gaza. That is a war crime, straight up. Uh, there are ways that people can conduct wars, and that's not one of them. And it's a war crime. And it's, it's a great motivator, unfortunately, for people to get upset uh, and potentially involve themselves in this armed conflict could take it into World War III. Uh, indeed, there's reason to believe that Russia may have already sent missiles into Israel, which would indicate a form of World War III has already started, if that's correct. Um, there's clear news that Russia, China, and Iran are coordinating militarily to defend Gaza. Uh, if you don't mind, I, I have to articulate the second um, war crime allegation against Netanyahu Biden, and that is that they intend, and, and the Israeli officials have said repeatedly over and over and over, don't bet against what I'm about to say, they have incriminated themselves, they're bragging about their plan to murder every last Gazan in existence. There are 2.3 million Gazans, and Netanyahu uh, has been shown uh, on video as has his top people in his government, uh, saying that their goal is to exterminate all Arabs in Gaza, to kill them all, literally, uh, and to have uh, to, to convert Gaza then to a Jewish Israeli settlement. Uh, so this is the war crime of ethnic cleansing. And I don't know about you, but that seems to me to be very unsettling uh, and disturbing, and so quite honestly, I mean, I mean, I don't know how to phrase this except that uh, uh, all right, so let's suppose that there is a World War III. Um, then I think that quickly devolves into nuclear annihilation. How so? 
there are nine to 12 countries that possess nuclear weapons. Uh, Israel and North Korea, I think, are the most unstable. Um, again, I think you, you may be really upset or angry or maybe you delete this whole post. Uh, but I think that Benjamin Netanyahu uh, would, rather than be held to account uh, for what he's done in Gaza, killing 10,000 innocent children, as an example, uh, he, would, he would hit the nuclear button. And so he would himself, with all of his weapons, possibly hitting, let's say, six countries, six major countries with nukes, would be the person who sets off a chain reaction resulting in global nuclear, thermonuclear war. But if not him, and I'm not trying to pick on him, uh, we'd look no further than uh, North Korea. Uh, and Kim Jong-un uh, is made it clear, actually, he's getting involved in the Gaza conflict. So we know that this guy is... Uh, would, would it surprise you? It wouldn't me if he launches Kim Jong-un from North Korea, a nuclear bomb, for all we know, you know, on Israel, if he has that capability. Um, and right away then, you've got two different actors who could set off this chain reaction. And, and, and so if a nuclear bomb is detonated, or if several are, then um, every country none of which can be controlled. There's no, there's no mandatory control to stop any of these countries from launching. They go into a use it or lose it mentality. Do they launch themselves for fear that their own country, let's just take France as, a, uh, as an example. They say, well, we don't wanna be obliterated, so we're gonna launch preemptively, uh, use it or lose it. But see, then that ratchets up the chain reaction to having no, to, to ultimately everyone launching and we all get wiped out. Um, so you have the opportunity, uh, Dean Phillips, to stand up to these possibilities. Um, and um, not to mention, I, I think if, if the Supreme Court rules against uh, Trump and says he can't run, I foresee the distinct possibility that Biden will at that point then say, I'm not running either. And that would open it up for you. I mean, I would oppose you because I don't want nuclear annihilation, but it would, from your point of view, um, make it worth your staying in the race.